The Atrium Project. My name is Ryan Kelly, and I'm the founder of The Atrium Project. The Atrium Project is a uh, website and a phone service that helps people in the community get resources like groceries and additional support. So when somebody makes a request on the platform, uh, volunteers within their area are automatically sent a text and they're matched up. Essentially, people go onto the platform and you know make a request. What we have on the site is uh, a button for groceries, uh, supplies, and then an other category. And so that other category can be anything from dog walking to you know scheduling a phone call if somebody's feeling lonely or something like that. So let's say I need groceries, for example. I'd be able to go on, set my budget, or set it as a donation request, um, and then say what I needed, and it would automatically be sent out to volunteers in the community. The way that we came up with the idea was uh, after COVID started, um, I saw my mom uh, supporting people in the community and neighbors specifically. And what she was doing is she was, uh, you know, contacting neighbors whenever she'd go out to the store. And I thought, you know, this is great. A lot more people should be doing that. And so I thought, how can I reduce the barriers for that and uh, essentially make the volunteering more accessible for more people? The Atrium Project has improved the quality of life for people in the community by connecting volunteers who really want to help and really want to support to people who need that support. Whether it be a single parent, somebody with an invisible disability, somebody who's older. We encourage diversity in the community by making our services as accessible as possible. And so one of the ways that we did this was by offering a phone service. So that way um, the cost to access our service isn't restricted by the cost of internet, for example. So if people don't have internet access, they can still access us. The Atrium project is innovative in two ways. Um, first is with the technology. So we're using machine learning to power a lot of our technology. So when somebody calls in, um, needing some supplies, groceries, or anything else of that nature, um, they call in and chat with our machine learning agent. And so from there, they can make that request and send it out to the community. Then from the volunteering perspective, I think what makes us innovative in that capacity is making volunteering adaptable for people's schedule, essentially the ability to volunteer on your own time. I really enjoy being a part of the Atrium Project because I value learning and then I take those learnings and move forward with creating something and then that hopefully helps to change the lives of people. Um, it feels really cool to be recognized as a finalist. Um, I've been going to the Pillar Awards for, it's been three years now. And, you know, every time I'm just like, you know, I'm gonna do something one day. You just wait and see and here we are. It's a really cool feeling.